Hi, I'm Annika from iDoc, and in this video I'll show you how you can easily replace the screen of your iPhone 13. The screen replacement is moderately difficult. It is the shortest repair on the iPhone 13. But due to the strong adhesive and the deep fit in the case, it is still relatively tricky to remove. Allow about 30 to 45 minutes for the repair. You will need the following tools. In addition, these tools can be helpful. A high quality replacement screen for your iPhone 13, as well as all tools for this repair, can be found in our online store on iDoc.eu slash en. We've put the links in the info box. First, switch off your iPhone 13 to avoid a potential short circuit during the repair. To do so, press and hold the side and volume down keys simultaneously for a few seconds. Swipe the power off slider from left to right. Your phone will now shut down within a few seconds. The iPhone 13 is opened via the screen. To be able to detach it, you first have to unscrew the two pentalip screws left and right of the lightning connector. Then use a heat gun or a hair dryer to evenly heat up the heavily glued screen edge for a few minutes. Heat up especially the area where you want to start with the opening. We recommend starting at the lower edge of the screen. Note that the specified IP certification expires after opening your iPhone. Once the glue has warmed up sufficiently, you can attach a suction cup to the bottom edge of the screen. Then grab a flat plastic tool, such as a plastic pick. Now pull the suction cup firmly upwards to create a narrow gap between the screen and the case unit. At the same time, insert the flat pick into the gap to enlarge it. Since the screen is embedded very deeply in the case frame, this might require some skill and patience. Don't be discouraged if it doesn't work right away. If you have difficulties with the plastic pack, we can recommend the very narrow and sharp edged iFlex as an alternative for the first insertion. To avoid scratching the metal frame of your iPhone with the iFlex, you should switch back to a plastic tool like the iPlastics or the pick as soon as possible. Once the beginning has been made, you can easily run your tool around the edge of the screen piece by piece. At the same time, press it up a bit so that you can hear and feel the screen detach from the case's edge. If necessary, keep warming the screen's edge in between. Once the screen is completely detached, you can carefully open it towards the volume keys. The screen cables are still connected. To avoid overstretching them when detaching the screen, it is best to lean the screen against a stable object until you have disconnected the cables. The screen connectors are lying protected under cover plates. To separate them from the logic board, you have to first unscrew these plates. Carefully remove them from the device with a pair of tweezers. Especially for an iPhone repair, we recommend using a magnetic pad to avoid losing small screws and components. To prevent a potential short circuit, you should first disconnect the exposed battery connector. To do so, carefully drive a spatter underneath it and lever it off the motherboard. Proceed the same way to separate the two screen connectors. Put the completely detached screen to the side. On the screen's inside, the sensor cable is attached, on which the proximity and brightness sensors are integrated. The cable has to be transferred to the new replacement screen. First unscrew the three wiretap screws from the cover plate above the cable. Then take the detached cover plate out of the device and put it aside. The sensor cable is heavily glued. To make it easier to loosen, you can briefly run hot air over it. 
then carefully slide a steel spatula under the cable to loosen it piece by piece from the screen unit. To lift the actual sensors out of their guides, you can also use the steel spatula or ESD tweezers. Be especially careful not to damage the sensitive sensors. Put the detached sensor cable aside. You can find a high quality replacement screen for your iPhone 13, as well as all tools from this repair video, in our online store at iDoc.eu slash en. Prepare the replacement screen by removing all protective films from the inside. To protect the screen glass from scratches, you can leave its protective film on until the end of the repair. Reposition the sensor cable on the inside of the replacement screen and gently press its sensors down. They should all sit level in their guides. Then press the cable tight as well. Put the cover plate back over the sensors and fix it with the three Y-type screws. If the adhesive frame on the edge of the case is still in good condition, you can simply reuse it. Otherwise, you should apply a new one before closing your iPhone again. To do so, first heat it up so that it can be loosened more easily. Then carefully pull it off the edge of the case with a pair of tweezers. Align the new adhesive frame with the case. Its shape will help you. Now remove the carrier film and carefully press the frame along the edge. You can use a spatula, for example, to help you do this. If the adhesive frame is correctly seated, remove the protective film. The remaining protective film directly above the edge of the case should only be removed shortly before final closing. At this point, we recommend that you first connect the replacement screen provisionally in order to test it. To do so, press its connector tightly onto the motherboard. Be especially careful when attaching connectors and never press them down with force. A damaged connector can lead to the failure of an entire component. Then attach the battery connector as well. You should always attach it last to prevent a short circuit. Carefully fold the screen around and switch your iPhone on. Press and hold an app and drag it across the screen to check whether the touch responds everywhere. Test other basic functions with the help of our checklist to make sure your repair was successful. We'll link it to you in the info box. If something does not work properly, check again if all components are connected and screwed correctly. If everything is ok, you can continue by placing back the cover plates over battery and screen connectors. Screw them in place. Doing so, it is best to fix them with a pair of tweezers, so that they don't move. At the end of the repair, you can finally close your iPhone 13 again. Don't forget to remove the protective film from the case frame. Once it's removed, fold the screen around and carefully press it into the case unit. It has to sit evenly everywhere. Finally, heat the edge of the screen again so that the adhesive frame bonds properly. You can also weigh down your iPhone for a few minutes, for example with a few books. You did it! The screen of your iPhone 13 is now replaced.
I hope the screen of your iPhone 13 looks shiny new again. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time! You can find high quality tools, spare parts and accessories for your smartphone repair in our store. iDoc. Everything for your smartphone. Find more repair guides for your iPhone 13 here.